Hello, my friends. This is my last video from United States for this season. I don't know when I will be coming back. It's the Lord who is deciding that in my life. Um, I noticed that after I said, God, take it all. You do whatever you want through my life, with my life, with my time. He actually takes you seriously. And, and it's not like I'm going home for like holiday because in the kingdom of God, we don't have holiday. We are on mission field wherever we go. In your street, in your neighborhood. So it's interesting to be led by the Holy Spirit because I can, I can see that everything is so lined up. The time that I've been here was a little shorter than I expected because of the coronavirus thing. Uh, so that's why I need to go home. Um, but still God is in control and he has all the times and the seasons in his hand and I trust that. So I know that there are appointed things for me to do in Norway right now. So I'm going to the people that I'm supposed to meet now in Oslo and that's how my life is. It's really exciting and interesting and I don't know everything God has on his agenda for me. I don't need to know either. I just feel led by the Spirit wherever I go. And it's so exciting because after you could see that every person was so handpicked, every situation, there were no coincidence. Everything was God leading me to people or people to me perfectly. So it's so good to see that we are in God's hand, people, that we are safe in Him, that He has ordained our steps. We think it out, but it's always going to be a little different than we thought, but it's always going to be better. It's not going to be worse. It's going to be better. It's going to be different. But when you look back, you go, wow, this must be God. <laughs> So it's now I'm just blanking out and, and it's so good to be trained to be led by the Holy Spirit when it comes to traveling or wherever you should go because you don't have to have these expectations because you just have to be curious to see what God is up to wherever he leads you. Maybe you have some contact people, of course, and maybe you have a little plan, you know, to preach somewhere or to have some service somewhere. But even that can change with God. So I'm here in America for you, you who wonder what I'm doing here. Um, I'm doing some pioneer work here. I'm praying a lot when I'm here. Um, I'm doing some deliverance here. God lead me to people who are very bound by demons and um, I, I teach to them and I go to their houses and I pray for them. And then I, it, 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 it just builds up whatever it, God is, has in store for me here or wherever. I don't need to be in a certain nation my whole life. I mean, I'm led by God. I'm just following his, his spirit here. And, and then you may have a time schedule that you planned. And, and sometimes I see that my time schedule is changed by the Holy Spirit. He wants me to go, but sometimes I go back earlier or later or something than I expected. So it's interesting to me, you know, and he's, he's teaching me how to let go of my expectations and not be disappointed because that's what we are we, be, we become disappointed when we are this have these expectations we have everything lined up and everything is so predictable i learned to live a life with god that is very unpredictable i don't know from one day to the next and i'm safe because i'm happy i wake up every morning i feel joy i feel peace I know God is with me, he's inside of me. I don't have to worry, I don't worry. I don't worry about a thing because I know I'm so safe and sound in him. 
and stuff can look very different and 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 even very difficult he can place you in a difficult place that is challenging for you a tight place and every little thing i'm telling you have a purpose you think like oh i should never have been here i should never have come here i shouldn't have met those people i shouldn't have lived there and here no 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 don't think like that god when you give your life to god and you serve and you humble and you being led by the holy spirit he take you places you could never thought thought of in your human mind and you probably sometimes would never have chosen either sometimes it's is 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 amazing and sometimes it's very hard but it's still god you know he leads us because he wants us to come in contact with people that needs our gifts that need what we have the experience we have the 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 anointing we carry and then i also need to be trained more in patience more in being self-controlled you know to not be easily irritated and 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 i get a chance to to develop more of the fruits of the spirit if i am around difficult people yes it is a challenge but god knows everything so i believe he puts us in places that can be rough and tight and difficult i mean i i, I i've been moving around here many times and i've been sometimes uh, not starving but you know had little food or been disturbed by people who are very demonized or i've been locked into places of god where i couldn't go out here certain uh, seasons where it's been so dark that god says just stay in the house and pray and and i know it sounds crazy to you guys that that is not a life you know how could you do all that is that really god yes it's really god and then I can have other places where God sent me where I got to preach the word of God and I got to pray for people. I see them being healed and delivered. And, and then I have seasons where I just lay in, in the, the green pastures with him and, and being filled by him. So now when I go home, I feel like I've been in a war I guess many of you feel that you have been in the war because there is a spiritual war going on. Um, so, especially when I'm here, um, there is a pressure when you come in here as a missionary. It's a pressure that you feel when you are carrying something. So I do a lot of warfare. Before I come here, I fast. Before I come here, I'm fasting a lot while I'm here. I'm basically living in prayer because I, I, I need to. I need to listen to God and to be led in small, small things. It's so, God is so accurate with everything in my life right now that every little thing to meet a certain person here has to be ordained by God. I can't just decide, oh, I think I'm going to go there and do that today. If that is not what God has, on his agenda for me he's gonna stop me that's how it is and that is also protection for me uh, I remember last year when I was here I it was a very dark season very dark and I was confronted with a lot of uh, dark powers from that's ruling over this city actually principalities uh, so I felt them very, very close. And, and that was a season where God said to me, you just go out when I tell you to go out. You don't go anywhere in LA until I say green light. So I had to pray every day. I know it sounds like you are super spiritual, but I'm just being careful. And I learned to follow the leads of the Holy Spirit in small things, because that is also our protection to not just be impulsive and jump out into things without asking him. Uh, so I'm careful, especially in cities like this where it's so dark. 
And what happened was that every time I was going into LA or Hollywood, I ordered a Uber taxi and I prayed for that taxi driver to have the right person in the car. And every time I got a Christian man driving me, really Holy Spirit filled Christian. I think one of them was also a preacher. So we were all only talking about Jesus in the car, you know, and I just smiled inside because, you know, God is so good and, and he's leading us, directing us, protecting us. And he can lead you to a, a area that seems dangerous in the natural. But if you are led by the Holy Spirit, you are so safe. You are safe, as safe as you can be. Uh, so that's the most, most important thing is to be led by God. But I also believe that in this time we need to stand up and understand everything God or Jesus taught the disciples uh, also about warfare, deliverance and casting out demons. Uh, we can't neglect that part and, and, and pretend that it's not existing because it's uncomfortable and some people get scared by it. God called us to do that because there are many bound people on this planet. And wh how, where are they going to go to get help? Aren't the church, the, our, isn't that our responsibility to help those people who are bound by the enemy? Of course. So if we don't stand up and understand our weapons and, and the authority that is given to us and, and use it and really use it because we need to have discernment in this time. I said it many times, I know I'm repeating myself a lot in this video on purpose because we need to be reminded again and again that we need to seek discernment to not be deceived and to know the spirits that are out there and to know how to pray, how to be led by the Holy Spirit, to stay close to God, to live in a deep fellowship with Jesus. So you're not listening to other voices. My sheep hear my voice, the Bible says, and another voice they do not follow. So when we know the voice of Christ, we, we, we know how we can be led in the right way. But if we don't know, if you're not sure if it's God, is me, the devil, you probably will do some foolish turns and, and, and go in the wrong direction sometimes. But God is so good, so he will lead us back onto the right path. We're all learning, we're all growing, we're on, on different levels, all of us, but we need to help each other. It's like sometimes I see we're climbing, all of us, on a big mountain and, and some of us has managed to come a little higher up on that mountain. And then we, we are helping our sisters and brothers that are further down and stretching out our hands to them to help them come up higher. Because that's, that's the Father's cry. Come up higher. That's what God is saying to his people now come up higher with me it's safe up here you will be close to me come up higher with me so so we're all climbing in a way and everything we are being taught by the holy spirit we should teach each other help each other to be the body of christ that god is is waiting for us to become so he can say to his son one day, hey, I think they're ready now. Your bride is ready. You can go get, go, go get your bride. But we need to be unified first. We can't be a body of Christ that are in thousands of pieces fighting against each other, uh, talking bad about each other, have very little love. No, we need to be unified in love. And I hope this time, I hope, hope, hope that this time that is, is a little different for, for all of us can bring us 
closer to God and closer to each other, to lay down our fleshly weapons against each other and stop being jealous and comp competing and all that foolishness, but that we understand when we live close to Jesus that we are, want to live in the, in the fruits of the Spirit. But actually it says, if you abide in me, I will abide in you and you will bear much fruit. So when we are in him, the fruits of the Spirit will come out of our lives. So that is the bride God is waiting for. It's a bride that is full of the fruits of the Spirit, that, it, that knows how to use the weapons. They're full of power, full of anointing. All the gifts are used. No one is competing with each other. There is no deception in the body of Christ. There's purity in the teaching wholehearted Christians who are teaching the whole Bible, not just pieces of the Bible, uh, but the whole Bible. So, um, yeah, this is just my little goodbye video from here. It's gonna, gonna miss this weather though, and the swimming pool, and nice flowers and the hummingbirds flying around here. It's a little paradise here in the nature. So beautiful. But maybe I'll come back later. I'll come back when God tell me to go back here. And I don't question that. I don't question when and how and where. And it's not up to me. I'm his vessel. We are his vessels. We go wherever he wants us to go. He's asking us, is there anybody that I can send? And you should be like, here I am, Lord, send me, send me, send me, send me wherever you want me to go. I want to be a blessing to people around me. I want my life to be a blessing. I want everything in my life to shine, to be a little glimpse of who Jesus is. We all should have that prayer, that longing for just be sent. And, and today God said to me, okay, I sent you in here, but now I'm gonna send you back. So I'm sent back to Norway tomorrow. And, and I know it's gonna be blessed because he sent us everywhere he wants us to go. You know, he just wants our obedience. We don't have to understand everything that we are doing in every places sometimes it can seem ridiculous what you're doing in certain places but we are builders we are pioneers we're doing something behind the scenes we're working on something invisible in the spirit that soon we will see it manifest in the natural we will see the walls come down we will see the breakthroughs of the work we've been doing year in and year out yeah so i just want to bless you people and your families today your kids and your whole family that they are blessed by god and protected by the blood and i appreciate you coming in here watching my videos and i hope that you get something out of it um, it's been very intense. God told me to take one day video every day here in this season to hopefully encourage some people for not being so afraid. Uh, so I hope some of you have been stirred up a little bit in your spirit and a little bit encouraged by my small little videos in here up to now. So uh, God bless you. And thank you for watching my videos again. And I love you very, very much. Appreciate you, all of you. You're going to go far, all of you. You're champions. Yeah. God bless you. Amen.